Hello, I'm John Bachman. Danish officials say the gunman from this weekend's terror attack in Copenhagen had just recently been released from jail. And the sources say Omar Hamid El Hussein was released about two weeks ago, and they think he may have been radicalized while he was in prison last year. The 22-year-old launched an attack during a free speech seminar over the weekend, and then he hit a synagogue. Two people died. Five police officers were injured before the gunman was shot and killed by police. Police now have two people in custody. They say they may have assisted the gunman. And this new amateur video shows an Egyptian airstrike, we hope to get that to you, of uh, ISIS targets in the Libyan city of Darna. I guess we don't have that, but you could see in that video smoke rising from several buildings that had been hit by the war planes. The attacks were in retaliation for the ISIS murder, murders of 21 Coptic Christians from Egypt. Egypt is pushing, there we go, for more international military intervention in Libya. That's where the terror group has built up its strongest presence outside of Syria and Iraq. Italy today announced that it would be willing to intervene to stop ISIS advance in Libya. And North Carolina, the man arrested last week in Chapel Hill, has now been indicted in the shooting deaths of those three Muslim college students. 46-year-old Craig Stephen Hicks is charged with three counts of murder. Hicks and the victims were neighbors in a Chapel Hill condominium complex. Police say the shootings were over a parking dispute, but they and the FBI are also looking into claims that the murders were motivated by religious hate. Disgraced cyclist Lance Armstrong has been ordered to pay $10 million to a sports insurance company. Arbitrators today ruled against Armstrong over bonuses he received during his Tour de France winning streak. Dallas-based SCA Promotions had paid $12 million in bonuses to Armstrong but sued to get its money back after he was busted for doping. In parts of the South are getting their first big dose of winter weather for this year. From Arkansas all the way down to the Carolinas, southern states and including Arkansas, you see right there, the capital in Little Rock, they're getting sleet and freezing rain. Kentucky could get up to a foot and a half of snow. The buried Boston area, which is now in a deep freeze, could also be getting even more snow. Oh, I've had more than enough, but at this point, I'm kind of going for the record. I think the record is 105 inches in a winter, so uh, I think uh, we should try to set the record. Well, you got to have a goal, right? Boston has had nearly eight feet of snow in less than a month. This is Beantown's snowiest February on record. The Northeast is dealing with wind chills well below zero, some places as low as 40 below zero. Chris Christie is in snowy New Hampshire tonight as he continues to test the 2016 presidential waters. He's attending the annual Lincoln-Reagan dinner in Concord. Christie has recently delivered speeches in Iowa, too, another early voting state along the road to the White House. And the Washington Monument may be sinking into the ground. Surveyors say the monument is about 10 inches shorter than it is supposed to be based off markers that were put at the base back in 1884 when it was built. Keep an eye on that. It was badly damaged in that earthquake too a while back. Another update for you in 30 minutes. Now back to the Steve Malzberg Show.